The point behind this initiative was to give urban communities and their neighborhoods and the many organizations that operate within those neighborhoods a chance to partner with us on initiatives and programming that could expand their capacity to meet the needs, expectations, and opportunities within their communities. The projects that have been chosen represent a diverse variety of initiatives and spread from one end of the Commonwealth to the other. They include a food manufacturing initiative in Dorchester, a Latino entrepreneurship program in Holyoke, a small business mentorship program in Greenfield and North Adams, a Vogue Tech Fabrication Lab in Somerville, a neighborhood planning effort in Winthrop, and a housing development project in Lynn. Good part of Massachusetts, that North Shore. They speak to the myriad of forms urban economic development can take. Each one of these grants, you know, strikes a different chord in each of these places. It's unique, but it really will help you uh, figure out how to either, you know, ramp up a workforce to connect to an employer in your area or fill a housing need that you might have in a particular neighborhood and really knit together some of the things that are necessary to help make your community even stronger. The governor and lieutenant governor, while they were out campaigning, uh, went to cities and towns across the Commonwealth and saw different things in different places but came back with the same idea. Uh, the state can be a better partner with cities and towns and help people on the local level realize uh, their hopes and aspirations. We want to fashion a program uh, that promotes economic development in those places where economic development uh, may not be as robust as we would like. Um, we also want to uh, recognize communities that are doing it the right way, which is collaboration on the local level and leadership on the local level, uh, to reward them for their efforts. It is important when leading to lead not just with your head, but with your heart. Because it is the combination of head and heart that allows you to see ways forward that if you just relied on one or the other, you might not see forward. And so, Governor, thank you for continuing to lead with your head in your heart and being responsive to the residents of the Commonwealth.